Ciao, my name is Max and today we're going to synthesize a snare like this in Vital. <laughs> By the way, this is an ongoing series on synthesizing all the drum kit in Vital, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any more. And last time we made a kick, make sure to check that out as well. By the way, there is a reason why we are doing this in Vital and that's because it's free and everybody can follow along. So if you didn't get one for yourself, I highly recommend you to do so. By the way, if you want to grab yourself the preset we're going to make today among with the others, you can download it on my Discord. And before we start diving into Vital, let's understand how a snare works. First, let's grab a snare and have a look at it so we can understand it a little bit easier, right? Generally speaking, the anatomy of a snare head is very similar to the kick, except for the noise, which is produced by the snare itself, which are these metallic wires, okay, this rattle attached to the bottom skin of the snare. So we have five to 10 milliseconds of attack, which is the part when the stick strikes the skin, and then we have 100 to 250-ish milliseconds of the snare tone, which is basically a sine wave at about 200 hertz, faded with the noise produced by the rattles attached at the bottom of the snare drum. In this particular sample, we have as well the reverb or the plate, but normally it's added in the mix and not right away to the sample. And this should be the simplest recipe for a badass EDM snare hit. But today we're going to make an extra mile and recreate sort of a live snare, adding some ringing resonances of the drum. These resonances are basically additional overtones to our fundamental frequency, but they are not harmonics, which means that they are not in tune with this fundamental. So let's start with putting oscillator one to basic shapes and leave it with the sine wave. And then we're gonna bring the phase down and the phase randomization down as well. And this way, every time we hit play, we get a consistent snare, all right? Then we're going to bring the release of the envelope one all the way to, I don't know, two minutes, two seconds will be all right. And we're going to bring this curvature up like so because we don't want to use the envelope for our volume okay we're, go we're going to be using lfos which is in my opinion a better way to shape the envelope all right and then we're going to bring the tag down as well now let's grab our lfo and make something like that all right so this will be our general envelope and then we're going to choose the frequency and put it to seconds and the mode will be envelope mode all right and all of our LFOs will be set this way let's set the time to 0 0.303 then we're going to put the LFO one to the level of our first oscillator and bring it all the way up and now I'm going to shape it just a little bit more so we have like a steady click at the start and then it will go down this is a pretty good start here and now what we want to do is add the noise all right but we're going to bring the level all the way down because we're not going to use the noise itself but we're going to fm our oscillator one with the noise so let's go to the distortion parameter here and choose a fan from sample and we're going to bring this all the way up because i noticed that the attack of the lfos isn't uh, really precise when you put it like this all right so it's gonna be straight up it's going to take some time to go all the way up even if your smooth value is all the way at zero all right and because our fm sample uh, initial value is 100 percent okay i'm going to put it 100 percent here and then work my 
way out in the other way. I want our click to be very short, so I'm going to grab this point and click out at my keyboard so I can move it freely. Okay, I want to have a little bit of that sine wave coming through. And that is basically your snare drum. Now we want to add our overtones, right? And because these overtones are more than two and they are not in tune with our fundamental, I'm going to use another vital to create a patch for our body, all right? We're not gonna use this patch together with the first one, but we're going to create a new wave table for the body. Let's start again with basic shapes, select the triangle, and then I'm going to use low pass and low pass it. We can then use it to, you know, shape it a little bit. And then we have like just another overtone of there. All right. So I want this to be around 300. All right. Yeah, that, that is going to be all right. The second lower than that. Okay. So we have like a cluster of frequencies here. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. 14 semitones up. Oh yeah. And we are going to use LFO2 as well for this. Yeah, and we're starting to get that metallic tone already. Did you tune this down? Not that much. Like that. And then I want another one around at 500 hertz. I'm going to use again envelope 2 for that. Basic shapes, triangle, low pass that. Let's maybe use a fem from a slater 2 here, just that bit. But we created this harmonic as well using our FM. So I'm going to use a filter here, put it in digital 24 dB resonance down and use it on oscillator 3. So we get rid of that small thing. And now I'm going to go to the matrix, tell my envelope to decay more for the oscillator 2 and more again to for the oscillator 3. Bounce it to audio. Chop this down, freeze that, flatten that, save my project. Going to find my audio in browser, pitch splice mode, use alpha 3 on the level, and we're going to bring it a little bit after our sine wave. All right. Yeah, 25 is the best here. Face disperse, like envelope 3 for that. And then we're going to use the same LFO. And we're going to use LFO 4 RM from sample. A little bit too much high end here. Effects, low pass. And I think I can as well use another LFO here. Bring this to the cutoff. So we still have a little bit of that tag there. The filter as well. Ladder 24 dB resonance down. Add like another another resonance above here, maybe 1000 Hz. Use again basic shapes, pitch this all the way up. Let's actually change a little bit our level of the fundamental. From this there, pitch our sample. I want to add some reverb. I'm going to show you a cool trick for that. Like this, I can open it only when I want it to. Another LFO. Now we can add a compressor at the end. Single band. Before I can filter. Maybe some distortion as well. We can use envelope 2 to add a little bit of pitch band. Oh yeah, I think that that is very great result so far. 
So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something today. Consider subscribing to this channel, ring the bell. If you want this preset uh, among with different other presets, you can download them in my Discord. The links are in the description below. Stay inspired and see you next time. Ciao.